Welcome. Want to know how to use Valhalla Delay? Well, we have an in-depth guide to the controls. Let's get started with Valhalla Delay. Valhalla Delay, the controls. Valhalla Delay was designed from the ground up to capture the sound of different types of delay units, tape, BBD, early digital, while both expanding upon these sounds, as well as keeping things as simple as possible. The Valhalla Delay controls strike a balance between minimalism and comprehensive, to allow the user to get the sounds they want as quickly as possible. The visible controls in Valhalla Delay depend on both the active mode and style. Only the controls relevant to a given mode, style combination will be visible in the GOA, with the values in the inactive modes, styles being retained so you can easily switch back and forth while previewing sounds. A quick overview of the controls. Mix controls. Mix, wet dry mix, with 0% corresponding to a dry signal, 100% corresponding to only the delayed signal, and 50% being an equal mix between the two. Mix lock. Click on the word mix above the mix knob, to lock the mix at a given value when browsing through presets. Style. Selects the relationship between the left and right delay channels, and the number of delay voices in each channel. mode. A high-level control that selects the bass algorithm, tape, BBD, pitch, etc., being used by Valhalla Delay. Analog Delay Emulator, Delay Time Controls. Delay, Single Mode, sets the bass delay for both left and right channels. Spread Single Mode, sets a delay offset between the left and right channels. The value in milliseconds is added to the left channel, and subtracted from the right channel. Spread is useful in creating a wider stereo image. Ping Pong Delay Delay L, Dual and Ping Pong Modes, sets the bass delay for the left channel, in the Dual and Ping Pong Modes. Delay R, Dual and Ping Pong Modes, sets the bass delay for the right channel, in the dual and ping pong modes. Delay L sync and delay R sync. These combo boxes allow you to choose whether the delay is set in milliseconds, or is a factor of the project's tempo. You can select milliseconds, notes, dotted or triplets. Delay, ratio mode. Sets the base delay for the left channel. Ratio, Ratio Mode. The right channel's delay length is the ratio setting times the left delay length. A ratio setting of 100% results in equal delay lengths between left and right channels. Setting ratio to 61.8% results in a golden ratio pseudo reverb, where the echo density builds over time in a really cool way. Quad Mode. Repeat, Swell, Quad Mode controls whether the feedback comes from tap, repeat, or from a sum of all the active taps, swell. Repeat is useful for getting repeating tap patterns in the echo response. Swell is useful for creating the resonant multi-head sounds of older tape echoes, or pseudo-reverb sounds when spacing is turned up. Tap A, B, C, D, quad mode. Enable or disable the taps associated with their position. Top is first, tapped is last. ERA Selects different variations of the active mode. This controls values that are hardwired in the algorithms, such as higher order filters, saturation smoothing, diffusion behavior, and so on. Feedback and width controls the amount of the delay that is fed back into the input to create multiple repeating echoes. Self-oscillation usually begins around 100%, depending on other settings of the plugin. The feedback control goes up to 200%, to allow for howling self-oscillation. Width 
controls the panning of the left and right delay outputs. A setting of 100% maps left inputs to left outputs, and right inputs to right outputs. 0% mixes the left and right delay outputs together equally, which can result in strong flanging sounds in some modes. Minus 100% swaps the left and right output channels. Color Drive Controls the input boost to the saturation algorithm used in a given mode. The amount of boost is given in decibels. The output of the algorithm is scaled by boost in dB slash 2, which results in a constant volume for all levels of drive. Color Age Controls the amount of age artifacts added to the algorithm. This is different depending on the mode. Tape Age adds S parity noise and tape splice artifacts hi-fi. Age adds S parity noise BBD. Age adds bucket brigade chip noise that tracks the signal dynamics due to the compander. Age controls the bit depth of the floating point converter ghost. Age adds S parity noise pitch. Age controls the bit depth of the floating point converter rev pitch. Age controls the bit depth of the floating point converter. Diffusion Controls the amount of diffusion being used. At the lowest setting, the diffusion network is turned off. This saves CPU when diffusion is not in use. A setting of 68% will produce a diffusion setting that fades in and fades out with equal time constants. A setting of 91% is useful for getting reverb from the diffusion network on its own, without any feedback. Size Used to adjust the overall span of the diffusion network size, relative to the overall delay length. Small values of diff size will blur the attack of percussive signals, while still sounding like a delay. Large values of diff size will transform the delay into a more reverberant sound. Tape mode, degradation, mod, wow, tape mode only. Controls the depth of the slower random length modulations of the delay signal. The rate of the modulation is a factor of the delay time. Mod flutter, tape mode only. Controls the depth of the faster random length modulations of the delay signal. The rate of the modulation is a factor of the delay time. Digital delay modulation control. Mod rate, used in hi-fi, BBD, and digital modes. Controls the rate of the random delay length modulation in the hi-fi mode, and the periodic delay length modulation in the BBD and digital modes. Mod depth. Used in hi-fi, BBD, and digital modes. Controls the depth of the random delay length modulation in the hi-fi mode, and the periodic delay length modulation in the BBD and digital modes. Frequency shifting control. Freak Shift, Ghost Mode Controls the frequency shifting of both the left and right channels in the ghost mode, in Hertz. Freak Tune, Ghost Mode Controls the amount of frequency shift offset between the left and right channels in the ghost mode, in Hertz. Low values result in a subtle stereo spread, while higher values create a more rapid panning effect. Pitch Shifting Controls Pitch Shift Pitch, Reverend Pitch Modes Controls the pitch shift of both the left and right channels, in semitones Pitch Detune, Pitch, Rev Pitch Modes Adds a small offset to the pitch shift between the left and right channels in sense Perfect for micro shift and doubling applications EQ Settings EQ High Controls the cutoff frequency of a high cut filter, in Hertz. The filter is in the feedback path of the delays. EQ Low Controls the cutoff frequency of a low cut filter, in Hertz. The filter is in the feedback path of the delays. I hope this information has been helpful. Be sure to rate this video and subscribe. Feel free to make suggestions if you would like a tutorial on any audio plugin. Thank you for watching and make some great music.